Hi, I'm Pastor Bill Sebald with Hope in the Harvest Mission International at the Agricultural Re Research Center, and this is our piggery. Once again, I'm with Farmer Emmanuel. Emmanuel, these pigs are a little bit bigger than the other ones. How long ago were these pigs born? Two months. Two months, and so we're a little late, but what are we going to do with these pigs today? We are going to win them for the mother. Wow. And the place we have to put these pigs, is it correct? No. It's not. it's not. We're actually putting them into a, a chicken house. We are putting them in a chicken house because for temporary, so that we pray to God for God to help us to look for money and raise. Totally. Yeah. The pig house. So again, we're looking for help with our pig hut. Just 800 US dollars can help us to buy the cement necessary and maybe a new pair of sandals after this pig eats my sandal. <laughs> they really love the way I taste. Yeah. They can chew on anything. Daniel, uh, sometimes you call these American pigs. Why do you call them American? We call them American pig because number one, we raised that in a building. And number two, their color is white and they are not strong in any African pig. So this is a pig that actually came from the US, but some of them are bred together with some some African country pigs, you call them. Yeah. And we even have one over here with those markings. Yeah. So once again, we need a place to raise up these pigs, and we thank you for any of your help for Liberia. Thank you. All right. All right. So, what happened after Adam and Eve ate the fruit that God said not to? How did they feel? They feel ashamed. 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 In fact, it says they knew that they were naked and they hid. And God said, what? He said... He promised... The seed of the woman will crush the serpent's head. Jesus is coming. So, Jesus died. The Bible said, Jesus said, unless a seed falls in the ground and dies, it remains a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. So we plant one corn seed in the ground, and you get an ear of corn. How many seeds are on one ear of corn? A lot. Yeah, many seeds. So Jesus died. Does everyone get saved? No. Not everybody? Who is saved? Um, he believes. Yeah. Okay, so it is faith. And so in the story in the Bible that we look at of Cain and Abel, what's the difference between Cain and Abel? Uh, Abel had a good heart and believed. Yeah, it says by faith, Abel offered God a better sacrifice than Cain did. So we need to believe God's promises and it's by trusting in Jesus, in what God promised that we are saved, not by good that we can do. Because Cain said, I did what I was supposed to do, I gave you a sacrifice. But it wasn't from his heart, it wasn't by faith, and God rejected it. But Abel, even though he died, his faith still speaks to us today. Amen? Here we are in the greenhouse. You would think that in Africa, the last thing you need is a greenhouse. But there are more uses for a greenhouse than just to make a warmer area for plants. It allows us to control the environment against disease and even too much rain. So here, all these tomatoes you see, tomatoes are very difficult to grow in Liberia because of bacterial wilt and because of nematodes. And so in this greenhouse, um, we have this demonstration of greenhouse tomatoes. You can see these are doing fine. We said that we use the program called Farming God's Way. This demonstration right here, a six meter by six meter well watered garden. You will see some things about it. Not only is the corn doing really well, 
but you will see no bare soil. We mulch, we use God's blanket, we put inputs in the soil. We use ash or lime to neutralize acidic soil, and then we put in either compost, manure, or anthill soil, and then some of the original soil, we put in the seeds in planting stations that are measured so that the same planting station area can be used year after year. We teach crop rotation, rotation minimal soil disturbance, and no burning. Everywhere in Africa, slash and burn is used. We teach about building soil because that's God's way. It was the good soil that produced a harvest 30, 60, or 100 times what was sown.